Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are finally doing my entire perfume collection. We're gonna be here for a while, so grab yourself a snack, something to drink because we have a lot to talk about. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. All right, we're gonna start with this side. We're gonna have niche, niche, and then some designer's private collection. We have in here, I talked about this perfume like a billion times, Bodacious from Bodicea. Absolutely amazing cherry almond scent. It's like a mix, I love really, between Italica from Zerjov and Tom Ford, Lost Cherry. Then we have Ormond Jane. I have four perfumes in here. Damask, amazing rose perfume. Similar to the Lina, but it has something fresh, it's like a freshness. And I think it has mandarin orange, beautiful scent. And then we have Levant. In here we have Byzance and also Tanger. Tanger. If you like white flowers and you like gourmands, this one is definitely for you. In the back, we have as well Andalusian Soul, beautiful, incense gourmand. It has almost like a biscuit vibe. I just adore this scent. It's niche, but it's pretty affordable. I think you can find the 50 ml for like 60 pounds, which is not bad for a niche perfume. And in the back, we have... From Melee Perfumes, Very Cherry Rose Chocolate Patchouli. This one is the best of the best jammy rose. It has, like the name suggests, it has some cherry, it has some chocolate, it has rose, patchouli. But it's like extremely, extremely sweet. And the patchouli, don't be afraid of the patchouli, okay? It's just slightly there, a bit earthy, but it's not dirty patchouli. And then we have two perfumes from um, Bon Parfumé. We have 203 and then we have 501. This one is very similar to La Vie Belle, but it has more like a salted caramel vibe. And then this one is like fresh raspberry and some vanilla. And in the back, we have all of my Kiali perfumes. The newest one, obviously, is Eden Juicy Apple. I do really like this one. It's not just about, about the apple. It has like a berry scent. It has something else going on. I really like this one. And yeah, newest release. I know that some people are not the biggest fan, but I am. Now, let's move on. Let's move on to everything that's in here. Killian. Love Don't Be Shy. Everyone went crazy about this scent because Rihanna said I sure wore this one and everyone wants to smell like Rihanna. I love it. Okay, it's marshmallow, orange blossom. It's just beautiful. Then we have Black Phantom and Good Girl Done Bad. Bar number nine. Not the biggest fan of the bottle, but Tribeca. It has a similar DNA to Baccarat Rouge. But you're getting this jasmine, um, hazelnut, cacao. It's just delicious. It's gourmand and beast mode. Total beast mode. And in the back from number nine, we have New York Nights. New York Nights has like a billion notes. But for me, it smells like ylang ylang. More like a banana ylang ylang. And super, super sweet caramel. In here, another brand that I absolutely love. Memo Paris. Granada. Beautiful orange blossom, very authentic orange blossom. And then we have Tamarindo. It is this pineapple rose patchouli. Has a similar vibe to Coco Mademoiselle, but I do prefer this one. And then in the back, we are going to have Tamin Peregrina. It's an ambery, spicy rose. And then we have Anik 5. This one is more like creamy, milky, airy, floral scent. Perfect for every day. And then... In here, like I said, we have some designers, but more like private collections. Tom Ford, just two of them, Lost Cherry. If you are a cherry lover, this one is going to be for you. Not the best lasting power, but it's just stunning. And Jasmine Rouge. Jasmine Rouge, even though I have a billion Jasmine perfumes, this one is more like dirty, animalic, sexy Jasmine. Amazing. Maison Marti Margiela. Mutiny. Beautiful. Uh, tubero scent by the fireplace everyone knows about this one and then we have coffee break and matcha meditation in here i like it but this one is more like for spring summer i would say because obviously it has matcha it smells like matcha tea basically and then in the back we have dior private collection vanilla diorama news release love it is this spicy orangey cinnamon vanilla absolutely love it Gris Dior, Gris Dior, fresh, 
powdery, slightly earthy rose, beautiful. And then we have Balat Sauvage in there that is more like a fig, milky fig um, scent for the summertime. Now let's move on to this section. We have in here some Tiziana Terenzi perfumes. I absolutely love this brand. We have Tabit. Look at this stunning, beautiful bottle. The scent, it's even more gorgeous. Is this super sweet, summery, fruity scent with some amber and some sand. I know it sounds weird, but it's absolutely stunning. Then we have in the back, Al Contrario. Um, not the best lasting power and projection, but it's this cozy, milky, almost like, I don't know, milky cappuccino type of scent with some cacao in it. I just love it. In the back, we have in here Kirke. Everyone knows about Kirke. And in here we have Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is very similar to Kirke. It's just brighter and fresher, I would say. In the back in here, Palo Santo, Carnet Barcelona. Amazing stuff. Not so many people know about this perfume. Amazing, amazing stuff. It has, it's supposed to be a Tonka bean perfume, but in reality, what I'm getting is this very creamy, almost milky sandalwood with some almond. It doesn't have an almond note, but this is what I'm getting. And obviously here at the front, we have Nobile 1942 La Danza delle Libelle. Amazing. Smells exactly like an apple pie, but don't think, just tiny, don't think, Christmassy apple pie, don't think boozy, no. It smells like a McDonald's apple pie. It has a freshness to it, but it's still a true gourmand and a really sweet perfume. In the back, we have from Teodoro Scalatini's Coffee Addict. What can I say? It's beautiful. It's the best coffee scent ever. In the opening for me, it smells exactly like tiramisu, and then you're getting this dark coffee, black coffee, but it's not... Um, homemade coffee. It's more like a, a Starbucks coffee. It's just done. It has some caramel. It's, it's delicious. And from Teodoro Scalatini's, I have as well Jasmine's of Athens. And then we have Vanilla. Vanilla, it's, your, it's not your typical vanilla. It's not your Madagascar vanilla or bourbon vanilla. No. It's more like a frosting vanilla. It smells is that like the frosting um, from a cupcake. It's just stunning. Not for everyone, but it's a true gourmand. I personally just love this scent. And then in the back, we have three perfumes from Simone Andreoli. We have Malibu, um, fresh pineapple scent, very fresh, very crisp, but also has a pineapple scent. Then some Plosion. It's extremely fruity, sweet. Again, it's fresh, appropriate for the summertime. And my favorite, Leisure in Paradise. This thing smells like the most concentrated pina colada. It's extremely sweet. It's extremely powerful. It's just amazing. If you like pina colada, this is gonna be for you. Now, let's move on to this section. We have, obviously, Baccarat Rouge. Everyone knows about Baccarat Rouge. I don't have to talk about this one anymore. Uh, from Mezzo Francis Courtijan, Gentle Free the Gold. The best version of Intense Cafe is um, the lighter, more refined, more elevated version of Intense Cafe, um, like vanilla, floral scent. I just, I just adore this thing. Eau Jeune Intense, Fringles du Bois. Coconut, sandalwood, amazing for the summertime. In here we have as well Exidolo, Love and Crime, similar to Lira from Zerjov, but this one has a chocolate note. And Mula Mula, I've talked about Mula Mula so many times from Byron. This is your peach yogurt. It's super sweet, but fresh in the same time. Every, it's absolutely stunning, amazing. And next we have 100 Silent Ways, Nishane, very popular scent. And in the back, Sunset Hour, the newest one from Goldfield and Banks. Really like this one. When I first tasted it, I wasn't like crazy about it, but after that I was like, yeah, this is good. Um, is this fruity, sweet, um, every but then the base it's thick and syrupy and then silky woods still don't know how I feel about this perfume because yes it's your Madagascar vanilla but it also has a very very strong suede note and the last one from here it's Mise and Cire for your love this perfume it's not exactly what I expected is this amber grease musky very airy um, sweet scent but it has also a raspberry note if I want to look 
for the notes, I will not know exactly that this one was raspberry, but it kind of smells like raspberry, strawberry. I really like it, okay? Um, like I said, I thought it's gonna be more like fruity. It's not that, it's an airy amber gooby scent, but I do really, really like it. Next we have, on this shelf, we have my Zerge of Perfumes and then my Penhaligans. Let's start with Penhaligans. One of my favorites, Changing Constants. Everyone knows about this scent is this a little bit spicy, peppery, caramel scent. All of the Penhaligans perfumes don't have the best sillage. They last on the skin, but they don't really project. And that's just something that I don't understand because the scent is so good. It's gorgeous, especially for fall and winter. This is going to be stunning. The bottle, we don't have to talk about the bottle because you can already see it's amazing. Um, yeah, beautiful scent, but don't think it's going to be um, beast mode. Then we have uh, the newest one, The World According to Arthur. Love this one. I thought when I looked for the notes, I thought it's going to be too incensey. I think I thought it's going to be too uh, churchy. It's not that. It's like incensey, but in a gourmand way. And then the last one from the Portraits collection, we have uh, Flora. Flora is your everyday summer, well, like spring, summer, um, fruity, floral, fresh scent. Like this one, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. And then from the regular collection, we have here in the back, Equinox Bloom. Equinox Bloom, it's been discontinued. I don't understand why, because it's just stunning. It smells like frangipani tea and brown sugar. I do have a backup bottle because I want this perfume to be in my collection like the entire time. I, I can't. I can't do this perfume. It's amazing. I don't understand why they discontinued it, but anyway. And the last one is Luna. Luna is very fresh, very crisp. Again, something that I enjoy. I'm going to wear in the summertime, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one, though. Next, let's move on to Zerzhov. From the regular collection, or more exactly the regular bottles, we have in here Cruz del Sur 2. This one is from the Shooting Stars collection. Nothing in the summertime can beat Cruz del Sur 2. It smells like mango milk. I know it sounds weird. It's like warm, concentrated milk and then mango. It's not fresh, it's not crisp, it's a gourmand and it's a scent that you need to test on the skin because at first I'm horror story with this perfume, okay? That milk note can be a little bit too much for other people. Then we have five perfumes from the Casa Moratti line. Just a small bottle of Bouquet Idyll. Really like this one. It's this dark floral with some nutmeg, almost gourmand, amazing for the fall time. And then we have Dama Bianca. It's powdery vanilla with some kumquat. Dolce Amalfi. It smells like a fruity bubblegum. I do really like it. I have days when I'm not the biggest fan, but in general, I do really like it. And then two of my favorite perfumes of like all time. Two of the best gourmands that exist, in my opinion, Lira. This is orange cheesecake, and that's it. The vanilla in this perfume, it's stunning, it's beautiful, it's amazing, I love it. And then one perfume that it's definitely top 10 for life, Italica. Bottle is just stunning, the scent is just amazing. It's this bakery, almost like an almond croissant. If you like almond perfumes, this is Heaven. This is the best almond perfume in my opinion. It's just absolutely stunning. In this section here we have some of my favorite bottles and I'm gonna start with the most expensive perfume in my entire collection from Roja and Ingma Wood. Just look at this cap. It's The bottle is stunning. The bo it's very minimalistic but then you have this stunning cap. It's just amazing. And the scent, it's a mix between every single flower that you can imagine. It's a little bit powdery and then it has a touch of wood. Don't be afraid of the name um, Enigma Wood. It's not strong on the wood. It's just beautiful balance, extremely elegant, extremely sophisticated. I just love, adore the scent. It's stunning. Then we have the House of Wood Day's Delight. Is this spicy, sweet day's perfume, very unique very different and amazing for the fall and winter and then we have um, Lamar from Kajal it's compared to Bacala Rouge again 
I can see why, but this one is very strong on the pineapple and I just absolutely adore the scent and the bottle is just something. In the back, we have more Roja perfumes, but this time we have from the Essence collection, we have Reckless, similar to Love Don't Be Shy, just a uh, fresher. 51, beautiful, beautiful Ylang, um, powdery, sweet Ylang perfume, and then Enigma, obviously the Essence version of the original Enigma, Rose, in this one I would say the rose is stronger, in the Enigma wood you can smell all of the other flowers, this is your fresh rose, slightly powdery, but again very feminine. And in the back we're gonna have from a brand that I don't think anyone is talking about, this one it's De Aroma from Primera, amazing scent for summer evenings, is this floral oud with some patchouli. It's the best patchouli ever. I don't know how to describe this perfume because it's just so different, so unique, but it's absolutely stunning for the summer. Again, not a dirty patchouli, just slightly earthy and herbal, I would say. Next one we have the Thick Eau de Duel, Eau de Toilette. Um, tested the Eau de Parfum, really like it, but Eau de Toilette, it has something green, fresh, but the vanilla in this is so sugary, it's so addictive, it's just stunning. And the last one, in this section is Serge Lupin Umbovani. I think everyone knows already about this perfume. Is this summery bakery vanilla? Just love it. The next shelf is probably my favorite shelf just because it has all of my Initio perfumes. And as you can see, I'm like a big fan of Initio. We have in here Oud for Grayness, beautiful dark oud on the skin. It's very, very strong, but in the air it has that Bacala Rouge um, airiness, I would say, and then some oud. Love it. Oud for Happiness, the newest one from Initio. Not so many people talk about this one and not so many people actually like this perfume, but I'm, I'm just in love. I think it's the best. Is Oud, Bergamot, something um, aromatic, something herbal. Got so many compliments with this perfume and it's weird because normally I would get compliments with sweet perfumes, not with this type of scent. But for some reason, it just works. People love it. Yeah, Oud for Happiness. The next one is Rehab. Rehab is this aromatic lavender scent. Side effect. Side effect is going to be your dark, sexy, tobacco, rum, leather scent. Beautiful, almost gourmand. High frequency. It's beautiful if you like jasmine. If you are a jasmine lover, if you like jasmine rouge from Tom Ford, this is for you. It's just stunning. Creamy, dark, deep jasmine. Love it. And then Atomic Rose. It has something similar to the Lina, but then it has something oriental, something spicy going on. Beast mode perfume, amazing rose scent. And the last one, it's Absolute Aphrodisiac. Like the name suggests, this one is just an absolutely amazing scent. It's a vanilla with some amber, but the vanilla in the dry down is just getting so sugary and so sweet. It's just stunning, amazing. And then we have from Coquillette. Sulmona, I've talked about this one quite a few times. It's extremely sweet almond perfume. If you like extremely sweet perfumes, if you like gourmands, this one is for you. It smells a little bit synthetic, but I don't mind that. And then we have Cookie Crunch. Cookie Crunch is similar to Lira, but it doesn't have that creaminess. It's more like a orangey, lemony um, cookie, basically. And then in here, we have from EBK, Deep in Desire. Deep in Desire smells like a blueberry muffin. I just love it. I adore it. It's beast mode. And from EBK, we have two other perfumes. They're actually just 15ml bottles. Very popular one, Ruby and Vanilla Intense. Beautiful vanilla. But my favorite, Ruby and Vanilla Wood, it has, again, this beautiful dark wood with something green, and then the vanilla is getting sugary. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the last one, again, a very small bottle we have from Miller Harris, Zergio. A rose, like not other rose in my perfume collection, is rose, patchouli, and oud. Just beautiful, just stunning, a very unique, very unique perfume. And on the next shelf, we have a very beautiful uh, shelf. I really like this like color combination. Um, obviously, Parfum du Marli, Ex Nihilo, and then we have some Amouage and some Floraico from Parfum du Marli. We have Delina. Everyone knows about Delina. 
and obviously I had to get the Lina exclusive and in here the newest one Oriana that I just love yes it has something similar to Love Don't Be Shy but this one has a raspberry note it's very creamy it's just beautiful 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 and then we have Ex Nihilo I'm just in love with this brand right now my favorite explicit the most stunning peony scent it's sugary sweet has some wood beast mode is just so sexy so amazing you need to try this thing the next one venom kiss beautiful beautiful wood but it's not your typical wood it's more like summertime wood very different and very hard to describe because it's such a unique scent and then we have flor narcotic white flowers if you like white flowers if you like fruity scent if you like sweet sugary scents this one is for you and in the back, like I said, we have two arm wash perfumes. Love tuberose. Like the name suggests, this one is a tuberose scent, but it's the most creamy tuberose that you can you can find. If you would mix mix tuberose with whipped cream, this would be the result. It's so creamy and just so addictive and it's stunning. And then we have Blossom Love. Blossom Love it smells like cherry blossom yeah but it's a bit soapy it's just something about it it's so well blended it's so addictive it's for springtime amazing and the last one in here floraiku between two trees this one has mate has i don't think it has some patchouli but it has something earthy and very very aromatic it's not sweet at all very unisex it smells kind of like an earthy tea and very aromatic absolutely love this one and the bottle is just like the cap look at the cap it's just gorgeous between two trees from floraiku now the last row of niche and uh, we have in here from emi Khalif, not ebony this is what i wanted every single boozy fragrance to be it's boozy yes but it's not too much and it's slightly powdery beautiful vanilla i just love it uh watch this one has been discontinued i don't understand why because it's just stunning it's bubblegum tuberose if you like tuberose if you like bubblegum this is what you're getting in this perfume and we have mon parfa cristal mon parfa cristal is this jammy rose slightly powdery has some toffee in it it's just very beautiful very elegant and um, almost gourmand but again it's a mature gourmand i would say and the last one from emi Khalif and probably the most popular one Ilang Gold. I just love the bottle. I just love the liquid. Just look at this. It's stunning. I love it. If you like Ilang, this is a beautiful, luxurious summer scent. The bottle says luxury, of course. The juice says luxury, but the scent is, it smells so rich. And the Ilang in this, it has a coconut vibe. It has um, a vanilla vibe. It's beautiful. Like I said, summertime, amazing. Then we have from Quinto Canto. This one is another um, another brand from Tiziana Terenzi. It's not a different line. It's another brand, but it's owned by Tiziana Terenzi. We have Strignina. Beautiful, fruity, raspberry, almost like a raspberry ice cream scent with other fruits going on. Love it. Beautiful scent. And then we have Mandragola. A scent that some people don't like, but absolutely love it. It's beautiful very dark deep wood very animalic wood not for everyone definitely not a safe blind buy um but if you like some animalic wood check this one out in the back we have some juliet has a gun mm -hmm. uh, there's a name mm -hmm. and obviously like when you smell it this is your reaction mm -hmm. it's just stunning it has a similar vibe to dior hypnotic poison the eau de toilette i don't have that perfume anymore because i was getting that play-doh note uh this one doesn't have that it's more musky it has that musky ambroxan vibe that juliet has a gun has in all of um, their perfumes next we have a whiff of a waffle cone imaginary authors beautiful waffle cone with some maybe lemon ice cream and then it has something incensey almost like some burning woods I, I really like it when i first got it i wasn't the biggest fan but right now i'm just in love nasomato narcotic v 
again a beautiful white floral perfume i just love it i just adore it it's stunning it's beautiful very feminine very elegant and then in the back we have my montal perfumes vanilla absolute plasticky vanilla i know it sounds weird but it smells like vanilla and a barbie doll i do really like it not for everyone it's not the most realistic vanilla intense cafe everyone knows about this rose wood and coffee beautiful and the last one that i have is chocolate greedy one of my favorite perfumes is chocolate it's dried fruits it's extremely gourmand it's extremely sweet i just adore this scent um, now let's move on to the next shelf we have in here my BDK and my Navitus. BDK is a perfume brand I discovered pretty recently and I just felt in love and now I have four perfumes from them. We have Tuber Tuberose Imperial. Not sure if this one or Love Tuberose from Amouage is my favorite. This one is more sugary, is brighter. Again, a bubblegum Tuberose. Then we have Passe Soir. Passe Soir is something else. If you like very sweet white flowers, it's stunning. It's peppery. It has some, I think, um, pink pepper in this. It's, it's very pep peppery in the opening, but the dry down, it's very sweet, very gourmand. And then Rue Smoking, beautiful, smoky, spicy, cherry scent, just amazing. And the last one is Gris Chanel. Gris Chanel smells very cold and dark, and it's a sandalwood scent. Sandalwood, slightly aromatic, beautiful scent. Perfectly unisex in my opinion, not for everyone. You need to test this one first. And then obviously we have from Navitus a bunch of perfumes. We have Serenade. It doesn't have almond, but again, I'm getting this almond vibe. It has some honey, some tobacco. It's your spicy, gourmand, perfect for fall and winter. Carte Blanche, amazing summer scent. Idola. Similar again to Delina from Parfum du Marly, but this one it's fresher and I would say it's slightly more fruity. And then Soir Exclusive, spicy coffee with some almonds and the perfume that I talked about it so much. The Embrace, roasted almonds, that's it. Beautiful. If you like an almond scent, this one is just amazing. And two other new perfumes from Navitus that are coming in this new bottle. Oh, pressure. Say, if I'm not pressing, say. And the last two perfumes from Navitus, um, they're coming in this new bottle. This one is Imperial. It's chocolate, orange, and wood, very Christmassy. And the last one is Ixo Brandy. It has some cherry, it has some dates. Actually, wave has dates and almond, but I'm getting this cherry. It's boozy, it's beautiful, I love it. And the last shelf, we don't have actually niche, we have designer's private collection. We have Lancome from Maison Lancome, Oud Bouquet. Everyone knows about Oud Bouquet. It's extremely oriental, very sweet vanilla with rose and oud. And then we ha I have just a small bottle of Jasmine Marzipan. The name, my... Um, I suggest that this perfume is a gourmand. It is not. It's a very sweet jasmine perfume, yes. But I will not say it smells exactly like marzipan. It's sweet, but not very gourmand. And then Van Cleven Arpels. I just adore this brand. I just don't get why they don't project because they're beautiful. The best one, Orchid Ebony. Vanilla Heaven with some chocolate, with a little bit of orange. Stunning. R Rose Rouge. Jammy Rose, absolutely amazing. And then we have, I think actually this one is my favorite, Bois Doré. Bois Doré has this tiramisu vibe and also this like tobacco, like chewy tobacco. It's beautiful, very unique, very, very unique. I highly recommend you guys go and check this one out because it's stunning. And California Reverie is this frangipani, jasmine, very unique scent for the summertime. And here in the back we have Yves Saint Laurent, Caban, beautiful creamy sandalwood, and then something that is discontinued, and again, I don't understand why, Gourmand Coquin from Gerla, the best chocolate ever, 
like this is the best chocolate period that's it it's discontinued you can't find this one i'm hoping they're gonna bring it back in uh, the new collection where they have now um spiritus double Vanille, tonka imperial and all of that i'm hoping they're gonna bring this perfume back because it's just stunning and the last one in here is ambre d'alexandrie from boucheron this one smells again like an apple pie but this one is gonna be your homemade apple pie very boozy very Christmassy. This is everything that I wanted Angel Share from Killian to be, but that one wasn't sweet enough. This one is just sweet, delicious, boozy, amazing scent. Boucheron, and this one is Amp d'Alexandrie. And now let's finally move on to the bottom shelves. Here we have all of my designers, um, cheapest, affordable, celebrity perfumes, everything that is not that expensive. So we're going to start with this shelf. We have Lalique Soleil. Love this one. When I first got it, I wasn't like crazy about it, but right now I really, really like it. We have Chloe Nomad Absolute and then Chloe Nomad Eau de Toilette. Here we have Olympia Aqua Leger, beautiful, beautiful version of the original Olympia. Uh, this one is just fresher and it has some um, white flowers going on. And then we have the intense version. In my opinion, the intense is like way better. Then we have My Way, Giorgio Armani, Love, Tuberose and Jasmine. Armani Cot Satin, discontinued, I really don't understand why. And then we have um, Kenzo Flower Elixir, beautiful gourmand rose with some something sweet and powdery going on. And then from Kenzo again, we have in here this small bottle of Kenzo World Power. Um, is this very unisex, salty, almost like creamy salt um, perfume, very unisex, very different. And then in the back, we have Burberry Brit, a beautiful, floral, fresh a little bit with some almond going on. And then we have Burberry for her, everyone knows about this one, and Burberry for her intense. In here we have Givenchy, Anjou de Mont Le Secret, this one smells like cranberry iced tea. And then Linterdi Rouge, I talked about this one a billion times. We have in here Hugo Boss. Um, the scent private accord it smells like um, chocolate orange and then lolita land from lolita lempica it's um, apricot jam with lots of sugar and in here we have all of my elisa perfumes we have the original girl of now and girl of now forever this one has a raspberry note going on and in here we're gonna have Elisa Le Parfum Royal. It has this orangey patchouli vibe. Original Elisa Le Parfum. This one is orange blossom, honey, and patchouli. And then Elisa Le Parfum uh, Resort, Resort Collection. Um, this one is more like I don't know, fruity, bubblegummy scent. And the last one in this shelf is from Pepe Jeans. This one is just for her. It smells exactly like a fresh um, pina colada, in my opinion. Moving on, we have in here some affordable designers, I would say, but mostly celebrity um, perfumes from like Zara or like uh, Oriental perfumes. Everything is like very um, inexpensive in here. We have Swiss Arabian, Casablanca. Then we have Tendre Madeleine, beautiful scent. Sofia by Sofia Vergara, a mix between Coco Mademoiselle and La Vie Belle. Rihanna, Rebel and the Red Flor. I love this one for the summertime. A Garin Capri from Lava is the most um, realistic fresh cut lemon. Bizarre Dreams from Martinez Perfumes. This one is a beautiful almondy creamy scent. Then we have again a beautiful almond scent. This one is from Reminisa. It's Dragé smells exactly like candied almonds. La Perla, two perfumes. La Perla Le Parfum, uh, just the original. It's a powdery, sweet, powdery, sexy scent. And then La Perla Divina, the gold edition. Um, this one is strawberry and champagne. In here, Zadig and Voltaire. This is her um, creamy whipped cream uh, sandalwood. Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. Smells similar to Lyra from Zerjov, but I would not say it's the same. This one is more like um, a candied... Uh, lemony and then a mochi atelier in Tokyo smells exactly like rice pudding and the last one from Zara we have rich warm addictive everyone knows about this one it's tobacco it's honey it's just beautiful from shine blue we have lilacs beautiful fresh um, scent 
and then we have in here uh, Tarula Camellia Beautiful Tea Scent and the last one and probably the most um, well-known perfume Sard Caramel smells exactly like Sorted Caramel In the back we have the newest one from um, Aqualina, the newest Pink Sugar Amazing version of Pink Sugar for the summertime Moschino, I Love Love, similar to Dolce & Cabana, Light Blue, the intense version and then some body mist we have from um, Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian Crush, Shirovza 71. This one is just stunning. If you like gourmands, you're gonna adore this scent. It's basically your popcorn, white chocolate. It's just stunning. And then we have Coco Cabana. Again, from Sol de Janeiro. This one is a very realistic, uh, sweet coconut scent. And some more perfumes from celebrities. We have Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, Beautiful Pear Scent. Cloud, obviously everyone knows about this one, and the last one in here is Ariel. In this shelf, we have again some more designers. We have some Yves Saint Laurent, Jean Paul Gaultier, uh, my Dior collection, my Mugler collection. Let's start with Yves Saint Laurent. We have in here Mon Paris, uh, the Eau de Toilette version. I actually had the original version and I had the Intensema, but right now this one is my favorite. And then we have Black Copium Intense. It has an Apsi note, so. I uh, know it just makes it a little bit more unique, a little bit more different. Um, Jean Paul Gaultier, La Belle Le Parfum. Again, I had the original. I really like the original, but this one is just way better in my opinion. Scandal à Paris, beautiful jasmine, pear, and honey. And then Scandal by Night. You can see how much I use of this. Um, it's a beautiful, dark, very sticky honey with some tuberose and some cherry. Here at the front, we have Nina Ricci, Chant Extase different scent very unique scent it has um some aquatic salty notes and then it has a caramel note as well and then we have rose extas this one is um very similar to lani trezor in my opinion victor and rolf flower bomb dew a fresher version of the original flower bomb my mugler collection we have the newest one I, uh, Angel Ice Star, beautiful um, mango pineapple scent, and then we have the Eau Croisier, the 2019 and 2020 version. And the last one from Mugler, we have Alien, my only Alien, and this one is all sublime. Basically, it keeps the original DNA, but it has something fresh and crisp in the same time. Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso, beautiful jasmine, amber, and some fruity notes. And then we have Dior Addict. Everyone knows about Addict. Is this creamy vanilla with something um, a little bit vintagey, a little bit spicy, I would say. And then we have Poison Girl Eau de Parfum, Tom Cabin perfume, and Poison Girl Eau de Toilette. This one um, is not quite the same as the Eau de Parfum, I would say. This one is more like an orange creamsicle scent. And now, finally, the last shelf we have in here my Lancome, my Gerla. Um, Sam Dior, Dolce & Cabana, and Salvatore Ferragamo. We're gonna start with those ones. Salvatore Ferragamo, Signorina Ribelle. Uh, this one is just ice cream, vanilla ice cream with raspberry, and Signorina Eleganza, Osmanthus, um, slightly leathery, very elegant, uh, appropriate for every day. And then we have Amo Ferragamo, again, orange creamsicle, and Amo Ferragamo, um, flowerful. This one is just a fresher version. One Valentino, we have Valentina Pink, beautiful jammy rose with strawberry. Gucci, uh, Memoir, very unique scent. That's everything that I have to say, very unique. I can't describe that perfume, you need to test it. And Gucci Guilty Absolute is this almost masculine rose with some berries. And in the back, you can see my Lancome collection. We have La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. I had the original La Nuit Trésor. Right now, I just prefer this one, so I kept just this one. And then we have Nude, um, is a coconut version of La Nuit Trésor. And in here, we have La Vie Belle, Intensema. It has a strong raspberry note. La Vie Belle Eclat, um, it has a very strong orange blossom note. And Eclat Eau de Toilette is just lighter and it kind of feels like um, a body lotion. And the last one from uh, Lancome, we have Hypnose, beautiful, beautiful vanilla with some passion flower, love it. Dolce & Cabana, we have Light Blue Intense, I raved about this one, I just love it for the summertime. Light Blue, 
escape to Panarea. This continued. I don't understand why it's beautiful. I have two Baca bottles and then Dolce Garden, beautiful coconut scent. And the last perfumes in here are all from Gerla. We have from the Aqua Ligoria line, Tizura, beautiful jasmine, chamomile tea is just amazing for the summertime. In the back, we're gonna have uh, Mon Gerla. I read about this perfume a billion times. It's beautiful, lavender and vanilla. Mongerla Intense, it has a strong licorice note. And then we have in here La Petit Rome Noir, the original Eau de Parfum. Beautiful licorice and cherry. And the last scent is La Petit Rome Noir Intense. This one is um, licorice and more like blueberry um, cotton candy. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you like any of these perfumes, if you have any other recommendation, um, what you like, what you don't, and all of that. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.